if you are going to be willing, if you are willing to teach people about God, you have to be willing to hear them out as well. Think about it. Well, if you are going to be willing to teach people about God, you have to be willing to be taught as well. Because think about it. You are teaching people and when they are trying to tell you stuff, even if it may not be right, you still have to be willing to hear them out. Because who really wants to sit there and listen to you and when they say something to you, like you toss it off to the side, like you brush them off, like they are trying to say something to you, but you are like, or in so many words, you are like, look, don't really say anything. I just want to speak. <laughs> so you be quiet and I am going to speak. Or you are wrong. You are wrong. You are wrong. Let me speak. Or let me be the only one speaking. Does that make any sense? And something that you can think about as well. Don't only point out when someone is wrong. Point out when they are right. Like for instance, let's say that 80% of what that person is saying is wrong. Well, point out the 20% of what they are saying that is right. Don't say to them, hey, 80% of what you are saying is wrong, so <laughs> whatever. No, point out that 20% of what they are saying is wrong. See, we need to give credit to people along with telling them that they are wrong as well. So we have to tell people when they are right as well, not only when they are wrong. Because who really wants to be around a person that is always telling you, you are wrong, you are wrong, you are wrong. So to that person, that person is like, hey, why would I want to talk to a person that is telling me that I am always wrong. Does that make any sense? Would you want to be around a person that is telling you that you are always wrong or the only time a person is going to say something to you is to correct you? Like, <laughs> you would not want to be around that person because it would really irritate you to be around people like that. Like, hey, let me stay away from that person because that person is irritating. Yes, you may, you may be a very good teacher, so on and so on, but if you are constantly, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. <laughs> Point out when people are right. Listen to them even if they are dead wrong. Like, hey, I understand what you are saying and you do have a point there, there, and there, but from what the Bible says, blah, blah, blah. So be careful with your words, which I have to learn for myself as well. We have to be careful. Because I know for myself, if a person constantly never tell me when I am right, but jumps right on my case like a tiger, hey, Kevin, you are wrong. <laughs> like this person gets really juked up, you know, to tell me when I am wrong, but when I am right, 
they are like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you know. Like, it's not really a big deal, but when, but when I am wrong, ah, you know. <laughs> no, it does not work that way. We all have to learn to be different. We all make mistakes. But when it comes down to teaching and stuff like that, we have to learn how to be better. So I really hope this makes sense. God bless.